Ooh, 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 ooh. Welcome back to Janine's Journey. I'm on the phone, so I can't do my little hand movement. You know, my sister on the phone. Say hey to the vlog. No, I look a mess. No, she don't. She's having a hard time, but she's gonna get through. Anyway, in today's video, say hey, hey, say hey to the camera, Maya. Hey, camera. <laughs> That's my one of my god babies. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> oh, you know you're beautiful. <laughs> so in today's Vlogmas video, I'm not sure what day it is, um, but in today's Vlogmas video, I'm going to show you guys how I prep for the beginning of my work week, and we're going to start off by going to Target. So I'll see you guys in a minute in Target. All right, so I like to um, come to the store um the day before I go back to work, if I, especially if I had like a few days off. So I've had a few days off. Um, Cause some, most of the time, like some of my shifts are clustered to where I work like um, all three in a row or two then one or one then two with a day off. So if I have just one day off in between, I, you know, should have already stuff prepared from the beginning of my work week. So um, I am going to go in. I usually either am craving something or I've seen some recipe that I want to try. And today we are going to be making Cajun shrimp chowder. Doesn't that sound good? I was scrolling on Facebook as we all do. And I saw this recipe coming up and I'm like, oh, this looks good. But I had um, I already bought earlier um, in the day um, chicken and cabbage and chicken and cabbage and I've been craving cabbage, cabbage and then of course stuff for salad. But I'm like, this corn chowder looks good. So we're going to go in, get the ingredients for this corn chowder and I pick up anything else that I may need for the week. Snacks, fruit, um, and things like that. So just a tip, just go ahead and, um, you know, just prepare your work week, prepare your meals, um, prepare your lunches, cause it'll make um, life a lot easier cause you're tired. And it'll also help to help you not eat out as much and kind of cut costs. So we're gonna go in, get the stuff for, um, I actually decided to come to Walmart and before my mama or any of my friends and my family, it get in the comments and say, I thought you hate Walmart. I do, but I also needed to get something for my guest room because we will always also be doing a decorate, decorate my guest room with me soon. Actually, hopefully today. And I'm gonna split it into two videos for you guys, but they had some nice garland that lights up. So I know I said I didn't have, I didn't buy any decorations um, this year, but I do wanna get this garland. So. Let's go ahead, go in, and get on with the video, right? Because I didn't come here just to see me talk. You broke my heart a million times. Can't count the times I, I made you cry. Oh, it's such a mess now, and we're burning out. I get so sad at I initially recorded a long intro to me coming home after going grocery shopping but basically I was saying we were going to go ahead and put the groceries up and I was explaining why my kitchen is dirty and my kitchen is I feel like you know a little bit messier than what it should be because I've been you know busy with school so I, that's what I was explaining before we went into this um, quote unquote clean with me and put up my groceries with me portion of the video and that's why I didn't clean up my kitchen in the um, clean with me vlogmas And after we finish cleaning up the kitchen here, we're gonna go straight into making the spicy shrimp corn chowder, which was so delicious by the way. And I hope you guys try it and leave me any comments down in the comment section about how you liked it and how yours turned out. And as you 
you can see as I'm cleaning the kitchen, I'm watching Holiday in the Wild. Don't forget, later on in Vlogmas, I will be giving you guys my top 10 Christmas Netflix movies that I'm loving at this time. I am still making my way through them, watching Jingle Jangle soon because I have yet to see it and I hope it makes it to my top 10. Comment down below if you've already seen Jingle Jangle or any of the Netflix Christmas movies. All done and clean so I leave the water here I add a little bit more hot water to it when I um, um, I add just a little bit more hot water to it just so it stays nice and hot and warm and I wash my dishes as I go so for the corn chowder recipe we need potatoes and onion green onions thyme chicken broth and some corn so what i did i got sweet corn but i also um got one um cream corn that i'm gonna add to it and then of course our of course our shrimp and bacon oh i just put i just plugged in my plug-ins <laughs> and they smell so good but quick question for you have you seen I mean, have you seen it? Vlogmas Day 1. Make sure you go check it out. So while, um, whenever I have to cook more than one meal in a day, while one thing is cooking, I'm over here prepping the next thing. So I'm just gonna cut my cabbage up. Um, like I said, I'm just making cabbage and so um, sauteing some cabbage with some bacon and I'm gonna bake some chicken later and then that'll be a meal and then this corn chowder will be, will be a meal. And then I'll have those um, the Caesar salad um, and the avocado and chicken salad. So I'll have that for the entire week. Um, so let's get back to prepping. So we're going to start off by making the corn chowder. There I was sauteing the bacon, then now I'm getting ready to saute the shrimp and get them started and get them cooked. I'm seasoning them there. We're just going to cook them until they're translucent and then we're going to take those out of the bowl. I'll be sure to link the um, link the recipe that I use from Delish in the description box below. So we're going to continue to make this shrimp corn chowder cajun shrimp corn chowder which was delicious by the way and like i said i'll make sure i link that recipe down below for you guys so you too can have it Everything's in the pot for the corn chowder. We're gonna let it simmer and now we're gonna move on to the next meal. I usually like to prep more than one meal at a time. So while one is finishing, I'm starting the other or continuing the other. So there we're seasoning the chicken and now we're gonna place it in the oven. Then we're gonna go back to checking on the corn chowder just to make sure it's cooking, it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot, the potatoes are getting soft, and as you see, I'm adding in the corn and the shrimp, which are already done, and the bacon is gonna be added in next. While the corn chowder is finishing, I'm gonna move on to prepping my salads for the week. I go ahead and just separate them out into bowls. That way all I can do in the mornings is just grab my food and go. Now let's check on the bacon. I'm cooking the bacon for the cabbage and then we'll cook the cabbage. The chicken's cooking. Let me check on the chowder. It's 
smells so good. Should we give it a taste? Let's give it a taste. Camera died, had to change the battery, but actually it's done. I'm turned off. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Yes, let's taste the corn chowder and I don't know what I want to eat now. <laughs> Remember those green onions that I saved? I'm gonna sprinkle a little just to garnish. No, you know, not, nothing, you know, just a little something, something, nothing too, too major. So, this is it. Ooh. Make sure you're subscribed to Janine's journey and make sure your bell notifications are on because I will be posting every day until December 26th. Yeah, that sounds like a lot, so. <laughs> Just bear with me. This right here, this right here, Oh, this is delicious. I'm gonna have to take Mary some. She's gonna love this. Yeah, this chowder is women. So what I do is I never, I don't put any pots in my refrigerator. I literally break everything down into bowls. And um, I break everything down into bowls. I don't put any um, bowls into me, pots into my refrigerator. Let's go ahead and put this food into the bowl and get ready to close this vlog out because I am hungry and this food is delicious. Mm. Say it again, say it again. You're saying you're sorry, so say it again. Oh, this is a tip. I save leftover um, containers from when I eat out and bring food home. I'm a lot of this is mainly from pho. Not mainly, all of these bowls. I probably have like a bunch of these. All of these bowls are from um, me eating pho. You're my thunder of my darkest night. You just can't go back and make it right. Cause it's too late. Well, that is it, you guys. Thank you for prepping for my work week with me. Of course, whatever I don't eat for dinner, I'll eat for lunch, vice versa. What I don't eat for lunch, I'll eat for dinner. I am so excited that you guys decided to come on Janine's journey with me. Make sure you do what? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments you have down below. And make sure you what? Subscribe and make sure you tell a friend. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wow. The light's about to change. Dang. See you in a second.